All right, beep, let's do this. LUI always on the ball. It just happened like right now. I was the first to break the news on my social media. If you guys are following me, a lot of people say, bro, it's not true. Obviously, it's true. This guy here is named Mac Truck. It's his YouTube channel. Personally, I don't know the dude whatsoever, but let's take a listen to him to see, uh, to see exactly what he's telling about the truth, what happened between him and Rich Piana. I'll be discovering this on the fly. I'm going to also... Uh, make you watch the video where he attacked Rich Piano. Let's take a look at that. We went to the LA Fit Expo and everything. Um, videos were circulating, but I ain't got the one when I took off on Rich, popped him in his mouth. He was trying to get loud with me, so I had to bust him in his shit. And then we tried to, but we was trying to leave. You know, to walk away, and he all man, let's take a walk all back. Let's take a walk. We could go to like, like smile like. And you want to get out? You want to get out? He was like, yeah, like yeah. I just fire him like bah. Okay, so what he's saying is this right here about this event. So let's take a look at it. Sorry for the quality. It's kind of snapshot, but this is him. What he was saying, pretty much. Let's go out by ourselves, right? Let me correct the sound. You want to go down? You want to go down? Just me and you. Are you freaking scared? That's Rich Piana talking. Are you freaking scared? Let's go out, just me and you. Let's take a walk. Boom, that's it. A punch. And that a brawl ensued, right? Now, uh, do you consider this as being a sucker punch or is it legit, right? It's up to you to judge that. I'm, I'm on the fly, actually. So let me show you another, uh, actually, what happened afterwards. The whole crew basically was there. And one of the five percenters, this guy here, I don't know his name, he's big. He got knocked the hell out by the other uh by the other guys now rich piana is here right the other crew that about i don't know one two three four probably four or five so rich is saying just me and mac truck And this guy is calling it. Let's do it. This guy, a big guy from the 5%. Let's do it. And he goes there and he will be knocked out. That's it. So that dude got knocked out. So let me show it to you here. He is in the ground. His name is Alex, obviously. I don't know if it's Alex or somebody else. It looks like this guy, but there was another guy on the on the floor. I have no idea who he is. <laughs> that's it a dude got knocked out right that's what's up and to keep you posted this basically conversation was posted by the dude himself mr mac uh, truck this is his social media instagram so this is it i didn't know this guy before today so he posted this three days ago he told him bro i will see you at metroflex at five it's the second cause so the 2nd of January, and then supposedly this is Rich Piana R, probably, he said, I don't get to LA till tonight. I'm in Houston plane delayed. Uh, um, day is clear, I'll wait. So probably, you know, they were talking like that, and I told him, bro, sorry, your day is clear, and all you have is this childish bullshit. You are not my priority. When I get to LA, 
I have a lot of important things to tend to. Go make some money, homie. So that's it. And then this Mack truck uh, basically speaks about it and he says, it's so easy to act like a gangster when you're out of town. But when you niggas in the same city, that uh, gangster shit goes out the window. I'm not no bully, so I guess I will leave one day you may alone because I see in the next clear, uh, clear as day that he don't want to uh, no smoke. So sorry guys, I'm about to get back to money until the next dummy let their mouth sign a check that their ass can't cash. No freaks given, freak of nature, uh, always moving, no breaks, Los Angeles, right? So that was it. Uh, who is this guy, bro? I don't know him, quite frankly. Uh, this is him, right? This is Mac Truck. I have no idea. First time I stumbled on him on social media. Uh, this is him, I think, man. I don't know. Or somebody else of his crew. So who is him? Uh, he's a husband, a father, an author, a public figure. Prep co oh, a prep coach. Okay, no breaks. Prep coach. Are we talking about MMA? I have no clue. Dude is in shape. He's a big dude as well. And I don't know if he was him, but, but he threw that punch at, at, at Rich at first. That was a technical punch. And there was another dude who got knocked out. Was it by him or somebody else? Uh, I don't know. Probably is an MMA fighter or an MMA uh, prep coach, I have no idea, bro, but that's uh, what's up. So let's go back and listen to them now. This is on the fly, guys. Let's listen to what he has to say about that fight. Bust this shit, right? Mm -hmm. So then, big crowd, like, it was only like maybe seven, eight of us, and it was like, like so many 300 pound motherfuckers in this booth. He had like the police all on one side and shit. So that's why I really wasn't gonna do nothing then. So then we mobbing off, and then it's Dude, Alex, that do MMA, he trying to call my, my dude Marquise out. Hey, nigga, handle your own business. You let him and Rich handle that shit. That was his beat. You, you, you handle me? Yeah, we, we good now. What happened? I see you in the streets, homie. Boy. I see you. Hey, so we, I'm calling Keys down like, nah, let's just go. So, Keys, that sucker punch he, shit. Man, Keys turned, kind of, he kicked him with that weak ass kick. And sucker punch, he went too. Y'all gonna see on the video, Keith's on top of him, giving it to him. So when Keith giving it to him, I slid, boom, knocked his big ass out, right? And then I'm trying to choke the nigga. Okay, so this guy actually, well, Alex, the big guy, uh, sucker punch supposedly the the guy in the center, and then Mac Truck intervened and kicked him with with a punch, right? And then he proceeds to explain. And um. While I'm trying to choke him, like two, three motherfuckers rush me. At that time, it's like three on top of him, like two, three on top of me. Uh, but you don't see the part when I slid him. Then you also see when I kick the nigga in the top of his shit. Like, he doing all this mopping. Like, my nigga, why you got an issue? Like, it's boy. about me and Rich, and this nigga got an issue. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you 300 some pounds, my nigga. You do MMA. You run up on a homie with a weak ass sucker punch. You try to say I was I sucker punch Rich. How I suck yeah, so like I was saying, it's like this nigga jumping in an issue with Rich and shit, not knowing, like, okay, yeah, you a cage fighter, but you fucking with some real street niggas. And they seen it. They learned though. Mike Trump ain't about all that talk. And I don't fuck with nobody. But Rich fucked up by jumping in my lane. You know what I'm saying? His boy fucked up by jumping in my dude lane. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they taller than us. Yeah, they outweigh us. Don't mean nothing. Probably like 60 pounds. It didn't mean nothing with their soft ass faces. You know, soft ass heads. How you gonna fiend a nigga sucker with two, punch. two, oh, two? Sucker two. ass. Sucker punching ass, mother. I can see it coming. Like, hey, come on, really? What you, what happened, D? You, you know what I'm saying? You was on the outskirts. You can't. You know, so, you know, first, we leaving. As, we, as we're leaving, Rich comes up to him. It's on the little scene. Talk let's about let's, let's, let's go outside. Let's go outside. All your boys still left. Yeah, your boys, your, your boys stay here. My, my boys stay here. Just me and you. And that's cool. And you know, and then uh, you know, from that point on, I mean, on some real street shit. That, that's that you just face. You basically you size somebody up. That means you calling me out. I ain't got time to. So you know, Mac did what he did. You know what I mean? And Rich came. He touched him. 
He, he, he put his hand on him first. And he put his hands on him first. Yeah, put your hands on him. Hey, man, you ain't supposed to touch nobody. Not that way. Not that way. So, you know, that way you know it's tension. Yeah, so with that being said. How big was the space where we was in? Ah, about from here to here. You know, oh, oh, the space? Oh, it was a phone booth. It was small, but the space between him and him and uh, uh, Rich, about from right here. And then Rich reached forward, right. touched him on his arm, and then when he touched him on his arm, I didn't know the homie was that quick. It blinked. I'm talking about Bruce Lee quick. Like, damn. All right. I was smiling. Fired on him. He was smiling the whole time. Hey, he I'll, I'll take happen. the two any day. I'll take your little two baby punches. I'll yeah. take those any day, Pop. Any day. They don't want it, though, because on some real shit, that nigga, he's stepping up for a nigga that won't step up for him. Yeah. That's what's up, right? L.U.I. keeping you posted on a daily, bro. Uh, let me see. I have a quick video, another angle coming just right now. As you guys can see, 23 seconds old. But then again, L.U.I. keeping you posted. <laughs> That what's up. So the MMA five percenter jump on his own. There were two on him. Bro, where is Rich? Rich is not intervening at all, bro. Come on, five percenters. So that's what's up. Yep. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Let's hear them again. What they have to say. It's between me and Mac. Let's just take it back. When I fired on him, he didn't even knuckle up. He didn't do nothing. And then he was shaking the whole time. You fired on him, his boys came up. When they came, the whole crowd pushed back. He was nowhere. He was about he was nowhere to be found. But it's he indeed, bro, I don't see him here. I mean he's not in the brawl here. Right? Like here, you can see Rich right here. It says between you me and you, but then again, <laughs> So I don't know, man. I don't know if it's a business move. He doesn't want to get involved with the law. Oh man, I mean, Rich is 47 now, and dude, you know, 47. Yeah, quite frankly, he's not a fighter, as far as I know. 47 is risky business to get into this kind of, you know, kind of physical. No, 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 it's not saluted, man. This is so not saluted. He ain't getting no close no more today because he know I let them back. I know these guys, but they look young and fit. I mean, dude, these guys look about around, you know, 200, 220. This guy probably 190. Things go good. The nigga was shaking. And that's the weight to fight. I mean, if you're a 300 pounder, that is not an MMA fighter who's 300 pounder. The cap limit right now in UFC is 260. Yes, hey, we say he was just like, like this the whole time. He was like, trembling. Like he had Tourette's syndrome. Like, you know, Mike, Michael J. Fox has him. So they're talking about, uh, I mean, Rich Piana trembling in a sense. He says like he had like the Michael J. Fox syndrome, Tourette's syndrome. Freddie Roach and the shit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, we got a little clip of uh, Angle that on his side. Of course, you know, some going to be out. I'm quite sure somebody got that part with me. Fired on in the mouth. I had my own cameraman there too. My boy uh, Tito, you know, he was there too. But we had to duck up out of there. You know, of course, the guards, the security, and all them motherfuckers start coming. You know, but that big nigga Alex learned the hard way. Thinking that, you know, he could call niggas out. Thinking that's because he knows some cage fight. Nigga, we've been fighting in the streets all our life, niggas. Fuck that cage. Hey, you do MMA, homie. That you was a disgrace. If you touch somebody two times, he's supposed to knock their ass out. Yup. If I do MMA, I touch somebody twice, I'm knocking their ass out. How niggas suck your eye and ain't get black? Call him when he won't even look here. Yeah. So we know now when we see that nigga, it's on sight. Or a nigga better apologize. That's just that simple. Because we didn't start this shit. I only made three shirt sales. <laughs> Fucking up the business. Fucking up the business. If anybody found the Gucci wallet up in here, y'all man, DM me, do something. You know, because, you know, it's a reward for y'all if y'all found that Gucci wallet up in there. Y'all can keep the money up in it. Long the ID up in that motherfucker. That's all that matters. The credit cards and all that shit been canceled. But, you know, just keep y'all eyes peeled. And, um, like I said the one before, I was cool. I was going to leave this shit alone. 
But the minute Rich tried to get loud with me, and I guess he thought that I was a bitch because I was smiling. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't expect to get took off on him. Bam! You know what I'm saying? Then when I took off on him, I dropped the bag because I thought we was about to lock some more. The nigga didn't do nothing. His folks had the rushes. And then they was weak. And then, like I told y'all, y'all keep talking about Big, what's the name, Big Drew? Yeah. The real, real big dude. Y'all was saying he was going to do this next. Like I say, man, I know a real nigga when I see one. I knew he was going to let me and Rich have our issue. He didn't have nothing to do with that. I told y'all. You know what I'm saying? But his boy Alex, he put his nose in somebody else's business. That's how people get their self took off from. You know, it's just like you, you mind your business. Nosy people get it too. Can't be no MMA fighter doing that weak ass shit. And then out there, you can't see nothing. Now you fumbling, trying to feel for something, trying to hold the homie ankle. He couldn't even get you no know, pressure because his ass was, he was still fucked up. He was just holding on, like, get my shoe back. So, you know, and like I said, like homie said, Rich, he, he put his hands on me. He should have never touched me than trying to get me to. All right, so let me see. They're saying that Rich Piana touched him first. Sorry again, let's take a look at that video. So let's see if Rich Piana touched him before uh, a Mac uh, truck uh, gave him that uh, that punch. Bro, he didn't touch him. Rich Piana did not touch him as as they claim. Let's watch again if Rich Piana, because they're saying Rich Piana touched him before he punched him, right? That's it, bro. As far as I see it, he didn't touch you, bro. Take a walk. Hey, Mac, I guess. You know, he thought like once we get back there that nigga was just going on a talk or when he say I say, oh, we gonna get out. That's what he was like. He was getting loud. I kept my voice and my composure. Like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, so you wanna get out? You wanna get out? He like, yeah, we can pop before he can get it out of his mouth. So, to so all you motherfuckers hating this shit, y'all better find somebody else to root for because the fake motherfucker have all them peoples around him and shit and, and all that. For what? So he could feel protected? I knew it was fishy when he was so tucked in the way behind that gate. But he knew when we were about to leave, he couldn't let us leave without him saying, saying something on his camera. Saying, because because it's going to be like, oh, Mac Truck here, I ain't going to say something. Because he's saying when I was like this the whole time, when we was like this. Yeah. He's saying he could have came in, but then he like, I don't know where it's going to go. So then when we mobbed down this way, him and that nigga Alex trying to come. And that's when he was like, hey, Mac. So now it's not, look, I'm like... <laughs> Gonna get loud now? Oh, hey, really? We've been standing for 10 minutes. Oh, like, really? I'm like, so what you saying? Like, that's what, this when he should have, this when he should have just at least tried to get one off of me. I was like, so you want me to leave? Like, you want me to leave my niggas here? So what, you want to get out? Is that what you're saying? You want to get out? Like this, if we, ah! if we would have left off that bitch, if Wes would have went outside with Rich. That other nigga would came and slap me. And you see this sucker punching cat, what's his name? Alex, yeah. whatever his name is. Okay, if you don't sucker punch me like that, homie. If Wes would have went outside with Rich, that nigga me and you would have been there squabbling all day. Yeah, all day. Because on site, you seen me, you must have liked me, you must have, it was something about me that you you don't like. But you look here, homie, you. you got an issue with me, I'll tell you how to me. reach me. We yeah. can handle it. But you we let, know where you, at. You, you let men handle their business. Yeah. You my business now because you put your hands on me, partner. We both our business. <laughs> That's why we had to mix them. We made a pancake. That nigga was out there, he was like, he like, <laughs> he found something he can grab. So they're talking again, just to remind you about uh, this dude right here who went pretty much down and he lost it. Or rather, actually this one here, sorry. Oh, this guy is Alex, right? I don't see a real And then he will be down right here, I think, right? Was it here? Where are we now, man? There we go. Keep 
Damn, bro. Damn, LA Expo Daily, bro. He was just like, they go, Rich, Alex, no. Alex, no. Like, Alex ain't do that. He double parked in Reds. Alex got parked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look, you know what I'm saying? That's how I did Goodell. He thought that I was all talk. You know what I'm saying? I broke it down like this on these niggas. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Yeah, it's just that simple. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, we went up in that motherfucker. So that money that he be talking, all that money shit, that don't mean nothing when you get your shit pushed in. Now he had his boot like this. Hello, Slim. <laughs> <laughs> and we gonna have our boot in the Orange County Fit Expo. And we gonna have our boot at the motherfucking uh, Las Vegas Olympia and all that. So we gonna be at all that shit. The only thing them niggas can do is apologize. And if they don't apologize, it's on site every time. But me, I know me, I'm gonna shot one of them off. Then he got his machine. I'm gonna teach him my lesson. <laughs> 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 hey, I hope y'all enjoy this. Well, for, okay, let, let me uh, explain that. Pro, uh, let me hear it again, because it, it sounds like blood. This is like the sound of the bloods. If you're outside the USA, there are Bloods and Crips in the U.S. Two rival gangs. The Bloods are the Reds, as far as I know, and the Crips are the Blue. And they say brrrrad. So let me hear it again, just to confirm that I'm not wrong. Hey, <laughs> hey I hope y'all enjoy this little clip at the end. Yeah. That's what's up. So that was a Blood, a Blood, a uh, call to fight. What do we have here? We have another clip. Oh, no, we just have oh, it. The same one I showed you, right? So Mack Truck is in the lead here. Oh, no, listen, listen. No, no, stay between anyone else. I don't want to drop. No, no, just stay back off. No, Mack Truck is the guy with the, with, the, with the hat here. And this is his dude. He was in the center who got in fight with a 300 pounder Alex. Don't just be a Mack truck. Just be a Mack truck. Fight! Mack truck! Okay, we've seen this. Anything new? Do we have any other post? Okay, we've seen this already. That's it, man. Okay, uh, personally, I did not know this guy. Uh, it's kind of funny because he said that like, related channels are Rich Piana, Kelly Muscle, and so on. So that's what's up. I'll absolutely keep you posted. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to like the video and tell me what you guys think about it. Be properly uh, saluted.